Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And today I'm going to be talking about basically uh, five ways to stay kind of productive and optimistic in your life. So basically just a little like a motivational video, encouragement, however you want to put it. Just my five ways that I stay just like uplifted through my, uh, my, week, my hard days. When I'm feeling down and out, these are just five things that I recommend that you do. Hopefully I can inspire you to do them. Or hopefully you can take just five of your personal, you know, optimistic ways and just, you know, apply them to your life just to stay, you know, in good spirits. Because as we all know, it's um, been a crazy, crazy last year, 2020. And as we know, this is a crazy, crazy 2021. But um, I'm thankful to be here. And um, here we go. So I say the first thing that I do every day, the first thing that I do is pray. Every time I wake up, I pray, um, pray to God and just ask him just to keep me in good health, good strength, everything, because good mental health as well, because it's just crazy. I had the things that I deal with daily. I, I need that mental that spiritual strength to be able to make it throughout the day. So if you do not pray, of course, you can do uh, things that may help you meditation, you know, listen to some music while you get ready, things like that. You know, it's a lot of different things you can do, but that's my major uh, thing that I do is pray um, every single morning. Um, and that keeps and that gets me mentally prepared on the day as I'm brushing my teeth, um, listening to music, uh, whatever I may be doing in the morning to get ready for work. I um, definitely say a prayer and um, that's that the second one I would say is retail therapy there's nothing wrong with getting a little retail therapy um, getting out the house to go buy you a, a, a little trinket just something that just makes you feel good it'd be some flowers candles just something that makes you feel good you know when you're going through a, a, a bad time um, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. I mean, if you got it like that, definitely, you know, go spend it. That may make you feel better, but, um, there's nothing wrong with the little retail. Retail therapy, therapy can be a way to, uh, relieve stress and things like that. Just, you know, just to get up and go buy you something and, and, and look around or think about things you may want to, you possibly will buy when you do get the extra money. So, you know, retail therapy is a good way to stay optimistic and just staying productive you know, in your life instead of just sitting like a lump on the log. Um, third, I would say is working out. Um, this one can be tricky because a lot of people don't like to work out. A lot of people do like to work out. It's always been a debatable discussion, but um, honestly, working out is a major, major, major stress reliever and it's, it's a, definitely a good way to stay productive and everything um it doesn't have to be a major workout like me i'm not a major workout person but i do like to do a couple of sit-ups a couple of push-ups um lunges things like that so um just or or just a little cardio you know just something to get because working out pumps your blood gets your your brain moving and honestly for me when i work out i'm thinking at the same time just about a lot of different things so it's definitely a good way to stay productive um, if you're not a, a workout person, hey, go around your house and do some laundry, clean up, things like that. That's actually a workout. W running up and down stairs, moving around, cleaning up, bending down, that's cardio. Believe it or not, <laughs> that's actually working out. So um, that's the third one. Um, the fourth, I would say, is talk to friends, family members. You know, if you got things on your mind that you want to talk about, get off your chest. Um, a lot of people don't believe in telling all their business, which you don't have to do that. But just if you need someone just to talk to, just someone that can listen. Of course, you may want to pick the right friends or family. Not everybody can talk to. Um, not everybody else is in a good spirit to be able to, uh, to hear you. So definitely talk to someone that you feel comfortable with and always know that, that um, when you talk to them, it's always going to be good vibes. It's always going to be positive. It's going to be optimistic. And, you know, that's a good way to stay productive. Believe it or not, it's a good way to stay productive. Definitely don't talk to people who get on your nerves. Friends, they may get on your nerves. Not, you know, they may be your friends, but you know the ones you can talk to that um, can uplift you compared to the ones that can get on your nerves so they might be going through, you know, other stuff too. Um, 
And the last but not least is love yourself. And when I say love yourself, I mean actually really sitting down and thinking about what makes you happy. What um, what really makes you happy and claiming it. You know what I'm saying? Really sitting down what makes you, really sitting yourself down and finding out what makes you feel good inside mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, everything. Um, because if you don't love yourself, you won't ever be able to find love and give that love to somebody else. So you definitely have to love yourself. That's the last way to stay productive and optimistic. Definitely love yourself because without love, you won't be able to definitely stay optimistic or productive. You would probably be out here doing all types of crazy stuff and we don't want that. So that's basically it. Um, it's just not really a long video. Um, it's basically just my five ways to get your life back together. Get just make sure your life stay productive and optimistic. So again, we're gonna do a replay. I said my first one is pray, or you can meditate if you don't um, believe in prayer, things of that way. Hopefully you do, but if you don't, you can you know meditate as well. Um, get get your mental together. And believe it or not, when you do that, um, and you do that and drink a cold glass of water, you won't believe that feels kind of good. I ain't lying to you. That's just a little side note, because that's what I do. But um, the second one is the retail therapy. Third is uh, working out. Fourth is talking to friends or family members, um, just to get things off your chest. And the fifth is love yourself find self-love really sit down and think about what really makes you happy really sit down have a glass of wine or something and really sit down and think about what makes you happy so those are my fa five ways to stay productive so um if you guys have any questions or comments concerns, definitely email me um, i love you all so much and stay safe